Hello champions, welcome to Jatai Feather Razor Fundamentals. This course we're going to cover all the different ways you can remove weight and texturize hair with a razor. So the first technique that we're going to cover is a technique I call filleting. We have my one length haircut that I did in the first class. So say that she felt that it was too thick. I want to remove weight, but I don't want to create a lot of separation and a lot of texture to it. I just want to generally move weight throughout the whole thing to make it not quite so so heavy and stiff and so blunt. Okay, so to go through and fillet the section, I'm going to take my razor, I'm going to tilt her head so it's more comfortable for me to get into. I don't want a section that's going to be too thick because I'm basically only going to be cutting on the surface of the section. So if the section's too thick, I'm not going to be able to remove enough weight from each section. So the sections have to be kind of thinner. They can't be too thick. I'm going to take the section. I'm going to hold it out. I can't work on too wide of a section. And I'm just going to lay the razor blade directly against the hair, flat against the head. And I'm just going to slowly start to remove weight all the way down. And I'm just going to evenly remove weight across the entirety of the section. I have to be very, very careful, very delicate as I'm laying the razor against the hair. The more pressure that I use, the more weight that I'm going to take out. As I'm going through and, and texturizing in this method, I can't be very, very aggressive with it. I have to be a little bit more romantic. You know, it has to be more of like, how you doing? Than aggressively rah, attacking it, okay? It's, it's a very delicate kind of light feathery stroke. The section size is going to be completely determined by the amount of thickness of hair that I'm working on. If the hair is real thick, I'm going to take smaller sections. If it's thinner, I'm going to take larger sections. I'll start right here in the middle, gently lay the razor against the hair, and slowly fillet across all the way down to the tips. And I'm just removing that kind of surfacey layer of the hair to remove a little bit of weight from each section. As opposed to trying to remove a lot of weight from one section, I'm going to remove a little bit of weight from each section. And that's going to start to lighten everything up without changing my shape overall. It's just going to remove weight. This is probably the most classic way of weight removal with a razor. I don't like to razor it more than about halfway up the length of the hair. So if the hair is this long, I'm going to go about halfway. If it's shorter, I may go a little bit closer to the scalp, but I don't want to get too close because then I'm going to start getting kind of springy hair that pops up. I'll lay the blade against the hair and then slowly start to tilt the blade towards the head as it starts to cut and very gently down the entire length of the section. Take that off. And just do this throughout the entirety of the haircut. Now as I start getting to the top, I will usually not do this very top layer right on the part because I don't want this to have any sort of separation and look like it's layered. I'm usually going to reserve this for more underneath sort of uh, thinning and keep it away from the front of the hairline and then on the top layer right off of the parting. I think that did a nice job of removing weight. So let's dry it and take a look at it. Okay champions, now we're back. In result of our thinning and razoring, I think that you can really see that it really lightened everything up and gave it a lot more movement and give it a, a lot more oomph and pizzazz to it. Now things that you got to be careful when you're doing this method is that you have to be mindful of very lightly applying the razor to the hair so you don't take out too much because you could easily just put too much force and then the hair completely disappears and you end up with nothing. So very lightly apply the razor to the hair and also make sure that you're applying it evenly on both sides of the section. It's a very, very flat sort of thinning and texturizing. Uh, you can also use the uh, thinning blade if you wanted a little bit more separation to it. 
Now we're going to go on to a different type of texturing technique where we can create some softness and a little bit of separation. So this is our graduation shape that we had before and it's got a really nice kind of soft line because we opened up the stroke on the razor to give it a little bit more softness but we still got a very weighty internal that I want to remove some of that and also create a little bit of texture so we're going to do a tipping method. We've got our first section here so I'm going to start right in the middle and I'm going to be looking at where the hair is thicker and where it's thinner. And you'll be able to tell where it's denser and you can't see through it. It's thicker where you can see through the section, it's gonna be a little bit thinner. So I wanna kinda of even that out. And the way that I'm gonna do that is when I go to lay the razor, I'm not gonna lay it perfectly flat. I'm going to lift the butt of the razor so just the tip is going through and filleting the section. So here's our section. I'm going to lift the butt of the razor, go through, fillet in small pieces as opposed to the entire section. So now I'll start to take out the weight, but I'll do it more in steps. So I will still have that soft weight removal, but it will be in steps of separation. I want to be consistent about my sectioning so that I can make sure that my weight removal is consistent and even on both sides. Lift the butt of the blade. Now just the tip is going through and very gently filleting just with the tip. So I get a weight removal and separation at the same time. This is gonna be very, very soft in its delivery and application. And I wanna be very, very delicate with this. I wanna be gentle. I'm gonna go. Go. Now we're going to continue the same pattern of thinning throughout the whole section. I don't thin more than about halfway up the section and just very gently go through with the tip of the blade and texturize that through. If I start to feel the hair catching the blade, I'm going to apply some blade glide. And that just makes it easier for the blade to slide through the hair and cut more consistently. Now here, as I, as I work up the head and I'm moving into the side of the head, I want to be very, very mindful that I'm not going to thin this too much. I still want to leave a solid corner there as the shape starts to round the head. So I'm going to take more weight out of the back and less weight as I get into the sides. Now as I'm moving into the side, I'm going to take, be very, very careful, very delicate, be very mindful, and take a little bit less. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Uh-oh. We're going to redo. There we go. I'm okay with that. And just continue on until we finish. So let's go blow her dry, and let's check this one out. We finished blow and dry so you can really see the texture of what we did pop out. And if we look at it, I think that that looks pretty good. It certainly took the weight out of the, the interior through the sides and made it lay a little bit smoother and also give us a, a more pleasing shape in the nape. I, I like that. So when I run my fingers through it, you can start to see that separation that we got from the tipping. You remember my long layered haircut that I did. So on my long layering that I did, what I wanna do is I wanna make the ends separate more and take a little bit of weight out of the ends. So to do that, I'm gonna do a channeling technique. For that, I'm gonna pull out the plie, which is the razor without a guard. So I wanna make sure that I'm very, very respectful 
of the blade. If I get too careless, then I'm going to cut myself, which sometimes happens. Again, I'm going to section off in a very methodical way so that I don't continue to uh, retexturize the same area. Comb everything down with a fine tooth comb. And then I'm just going to go through and put the blade through the section, tilt it to 45, and then gently go through and channel out some pieces. So we got here, go through, gently go through, channel that through. Where it's thicker, I may take a little bit more. Where it's thinner, I'll take a little bit less, but I just want to go through and separate those pieces so that it ends up looking symmetrical on the bottom. Close the blade, take my next section. So I've got my next section through here and I'm just going to follow the same pattern as I go up, but I'm also going to be conscientious about where the hair is thicker and where it's thinner. So you'll notice this section of hair here is not very thick. So I'm not going to apply a whole lot of separation to it. I'm just going to go through and channel it just a little bit. This section is a little thicker towards the edges. So I'm going to take a little bit more towards the edges. Same thing here. A little thinner in the middle so I don't take very much out. When I get to the edge, I'll take a little more out. So I just want to be judicious about my application of the razor so I can remove weight where it needs to be removed, not just mindlessly creating texture. I want to be very, very methodical about it. So as I take my section to cut, I'm only going to take the section that I'm about to cut. I'm not going to pick up any hair from underneath because I don't want to re-thin this and re-texturize that. I only want to texturize what I'm doing on top. And that's because this razor technique goes all the way through the section. So go through, be mindful where you're taking hair out, take a little bit of that off. Again, not going more than about halfway. Need a little bit out through there, nothing through the middle, right through there. All right, so I've sectioned around the front and now I'm gonna take a small piece of the bangs or the fringe if you wanna be fancy. I'm going to pull that forward and I'm going to look and see where it's thick and where it's thin. I'm going to grab the razor and really delicately channel that through. I want to be very conscientious about how much I'm taking out and I don't want to recut the shape. I just want to texturize it and force it to separate and take some weight out. The next piece, be careful to not pick up the piece that I've already cut underneath. Remove some of that. Now we start to see that lighten up and get a little bit more pop to it. The next section, we're going to start right in the middle. Pull that forward. and just continue on the same method with the rest of the haircut. All right, so we're all finished with that. And at this point, I'm gonna go through and shake everything around and kind of look at it and see if there's anything that stands out to my eye where I need to remove a little bit more weight or to get a little bit more separation. And then I'm gonna go through and blow it dry, check it out. Here is our finished result.
nice amount of texture to it. The pieces are all nice and, and soft, but we still have weight internally through here, but just around the edges has it gotten quite a bit softer. And she's got this kind of, you know, Charlie's Angels kind of 70s shag thing going on. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like it a lot. If I had hair, that's how I'd wear it. <laughs> the key thing to remember on this technique is that you're consistent with the amount of weight that you're taking away and the amount that you're leaving. So when I pull out each section, I want to be mindful where it's thick, I'm going to take more out. Where it's thinner, I'm going to leave more, but I want to be consistent with my stroke to make sure I get those separate pieces. So this is going to be much more piecey than the other two. And this is like the maximum. The first one was the minimum and the, the one in the middle was kind of a blending between the two. Any of these techniques is just going to require a little bit of practice on your part. Judicious application and practice, you'll be an expert at it in no time. See you next time.